What do the arts mean to us? The arts change lives. The arts change communities. The arts invest in young people. The arts invest in urban areas. The arts invest in rural areas. Wherever art goes, commerce follows. And our quality of life improves. It's not just about seeing a play or seeing a musical, although those are the core of what we do. But it's about our sense of community, our sense of who we are and who we aspire to be. The arts bring that idea to life. Everything that we touch in our daily lives tends to isolate us. The arts bring us together. The arts are a communal experience that becomes increasingly rare in our lives today. And with the arts, all things are possible. But they're possible with our friends, with our families, with our colleagues. That's one of those touchstones in our lives. We always remember that communal experience we had with our family. And that's another reason why the arts are so important to our lives as Arkansans. This production of HMS Pinafore is produced by one of our country's leading nonprofit professional theater companies, the Guthrie Theater, one of our oldest producing companies in the United States. And anytime you talk about Gilbert and Sullivan, you are talking about fun. I mean, you're also talking about cutting edge in its day. We tend to think of something as being old or antiquated. And one of the things that I particularly enjoy about this production is the relevancy that the play is as entertaining, and you can tell by the fact that it's shot in front of a live audience and how much fun they're having, that it is a play for the ages, a musical for the ages. And so when it was written, it was written as entertainment. It was written as an operetta. And it entertained audiences delightfully when it was created. Of course, the difference is that when Gilbert and Sullivan's audience saw it for the first time, they didn't see it as in such a vibrant production as we see with the Guthrie's. Uh, the Gilbert and, Sullivan, uh, original, Gilbert and Sullivan original audience would have been more oral. They would have been more attuned to the music. We are a more visual society. We're more entertained and engaged visually. And so this production, with its, co with its colorful costumes, the choreography, the setting, the technology that brings it into our lives makes it as much fun for us as it was for them. It's just different. The rep, in many ways, is a smaller version of the Guthrie serving our audience here in Arkansas. The thing that ties us together, we're storytellers. We strive to tell good stories for our audience, stories that resonate with our audience through song, through dance, through the spoken word. And these plays that we tell stories, the stories we tell, may have been written by Shakespeare, or they may have been written by an Arkansan two months ago. The idea that ties them together, that ties together the rep and the Guthrie and all of the arts here in our country and in our state is the desire to make a positive contribution to our quality of life, the desire to bring us together as a people, and the desire to give us memories, ideas, and new expressions that last a lifetime. The access we have through public television of the arts, the best of the arts created across the country, is unparalleled. We're fortunate to have access to both the live professional arts in our state as well as wonderful national programming that AETN brings to us. The common denominator is storytelling. We want to tell the best stories we can for our audience today and tomorrow, for young people, old alike. We want to tell great stories through music, through song, through dance, and through the spoken word. And that's our shared mission. I'm Bob Hupp with The Rep. Grab a front row seat with me on AETN. Thank you.